Welcome to another episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Today we're in Northcliffe and all of our loyal viewers know that Northcliffe brings with it some of the best views that Gauteng has to offer and today we are definitely not going to disappoint. This home that I'm standing in currently has four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, two pajama lounges, family areas that are to die for and architectural elements as well as designs that I've never seen the like of before. So come with me as we tour this 15.9 million rand home and let it take your breath away. My name is Chad Riveros. This is the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Welcome home. Coming through the front door of this incredible house, the first thing you'll notice even before you open your front door is you are surrounded by amazing views. However, this top level is dedicated solely to the bedroom. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a quick trip downstairs and take a look at what the living areas have to offer. Coming down your set of stairs, there's a couple of things I'd like to mention here, is you've got a beautiful water feature greeting you on this lower level, and then you have access to all of your living areas, your kitchen, dining room, and living room area, and then down this hallway is your guest bedroom and some other quite special features, but let's start off right over here in your kitchen. You've got this stunning breakfast nook that separates your kitchen from your dining area. Enough space here to sit at least six people. That breakfast nook leads seamlessly into this countertop space right here. Open countertop space for all of your appliances. You've got your chef sink and then a really, really nice view out to the back side of the house. It's all open, very nicely well decorated. And also because of how high up we are, you do get an incredible view of the sunset. Now that storage space continues on the other side of the kitchen. Plenty of cupboard space running all along the bottom. You've got stunning marble countertops, display cabinets running along the top, extractor fan in stainless steel. You've got your hob, not gas, but it does then run off the inverter. This home is 70% off grid. You've got two ovens, more display cabinetry, more cabinetry down below, and then a built-in fridge. Now along this walkway here, you've got your scullery area, which comes with even more amenities, and we're gonna take a look at that right now. Now your scullery area comes just as well equipped. You've got a full-sized sink, space under counter for four separate appliances, a dry goods storage area, and then two separate shelves for you to put more of your appliances. You've also got a glass door that leads out to the back garden area where you can sit down, relax, and enjoy the sunsets I was speaking about. Now, leaving the kitchen behind, there's a couple of design elements of this house I'd like to speak about. Stunning dark tiles offset the light walls and bulkhead ceilings. You've got beautiful light downlighting across the whole living room area. And then we've got some high level windows letting you take a look at that sunset again because we are so high up. But because of that also, your living room really sits in line with most of the canopies of the trees. So it does feel like you're out of Johannesburg, even though Northcliffe is very close to not one, but two CBDs, that being Ramburg CBD as well as Sanson CBD. Now, however, we are sitting front and center in your dining room area, down lighting from the bulkhead ceiling, plenty of space here for this 10 seater dining room table framed off by these two sets of stairs. One set leading up to your kitchen and the other leading through these frameless glass doors that cordon of your outside patio area. Again, this home is all about the views and I love the fact that they've incorporated frameless glass doors. And a question that comes up quite often, however, is the heating within these houses. And I have to say, this home is very warm when transitioning from room to room, comfortable to sit down and relax in. Right now, we're standing in your living room area. You've got your TV cabinet right here, down lighting in its own separately designed bulkhead ceiling. But instead of what we usually see, which is your feature walls sitting behind the TV, TV cabinet. This time they've done something different. They've incorporated the use of warm wood in quite an interesting pattern just behind the TV set so you really get to appreciate it. Another thing you can appreciate is the size of this living room area. It easily fits this L-shaped couch and you can even put two armchairs here if you really want to make good use of that view we were just speaking about. Or if you'd like to go visit the pool you've got a sliding glass door right over there that gives you easy access to it. But that is not all when it comes to this middle floor. This home spans across three separate areas 
and we're gonna go take a quick walk down this passageway and see what else is in store for us. Around this corner behind me is your half bathroom. It has a single vanity toilet. Love the attention to detail and the brass basin. Coming into this second living room area, the design of this home really shines. We've moved from that warm wood in the first lounge we've seen into this right of here with display cabinetry, slats leading downstairs on a set of stairs to where you're gonna find your next bedroom area. And then this built-in TV cabinet. You've also got plenty of space wrapping all the way around the house for any type of design or furniture you'd like and any configuration of it. But again, the cherry on top of this area, much like the rest of the house, is the wall of windows, many of them sliding doors leading out onto your patio area, but most importantly, giving you that incredible view. But take a look at this lounge area and you can see how well designed it is. You've also got your guest bedroom just off the lounge area so when you do have family or friends visiting they've got their own space to sit down and relax and not feel like they're intruding on you or your family. But now it's time to check out the first bedroom. I absolutely love the design of this first bedroom. We've come full circle back to the warmth of the wood feature walls, but we've traded in those dark tiles to exposed concrete, and it really does fit the material and earthy elements of what we see here. We've got space for a desk, as well as a rather large bedroom with pedestals on either side. We've also got one of those very important windows. And then on the other side of this divider, you find your bathroom. We've got double vanities set onto some warm wood floating shelves, under counter storage, two separate mirrors, behind me some storage space, in front of me your toilet, but this bathroom has been done in that wet room design with your shower being front and center just one step away. And then to round everything off you've got a slat window which gives plenty of privacy but also gives you something pretty to look at when you are taking a shower. But talking about pretty there's so much more that this house has to offer and we headed there next so come with me as we venture down that set of stairs and see what else is in store for us. Heading down the stairs, you're surrounded by windows on almost every side. These stairs terminate with a glass door leading onto your bottom garden. Now down these stairs, you'll find three separate rooms. These ones that we're filming right now makes a perfect games room, as you can see by the pool table being front and center. Coming up next, or at least adjacent to this room, you'll find two smaller rooms, as you can see by the pool table front and center. Right next to this room, you'll find a smaller room, which I think would be the perfect place to put all your confectionery and sweets, because in the next room is the perfect area for you to set up your very own home cinema. However, you can let your imagination run wild and set up these rooms exactly how you best see them or exactly how it will suit your favorite style. Now, however, it's time to head back up the stairs and take a look at this home's exquisite patio area. Walking out onto the patio of this house, you can very easily see why it is its crowning feature. Front and center is this right here, your very own infinity pool that runs the length of the patio. We two stories up, so not only do you have an incredible view, but you have such a wonderful lush and green tree line. You can customize these, anything that encroaches onto your land, you get to trim off. But why would you want to? Because take a look at what you see. Diving into this pool, you get to pull yourself out and sit down on a multitude of couches because this patio is so spacious, or maybe you'd like to enjoy a breakfast, and there is a breakfast nook just for that. This home does also come with a downstairs garden area that you get to explore, enjoy and make your own. But what I do need to mention is look at this all over here. The lighting elements in this home are second to none. And if you live here, there won't ever be a night that you don't get to enjoy either waking up or going to sleep with some of the most exquisite sunsets and sunrises all across Gauteng. Now, however, it's time to talk about where you'll do that sleeping, and that is in the upstairs area, since that's where all the bedrooms are located other than your spare bedroom. Come with me and let's check it out. And 
here we are back upstairs right where we started but let me mention a couple of things that I didn't talk about when we started this video. Right over here is obviously your front door but just next to it you've got your three car garage and heading down this hallway is the first of the two bedrooms that we're going to be talking about on this wing of the house. Walking into this room, you are immediately hit with some of the most breathtaking views that Northcliffe has to offer. We've traded in the tiles for lush carpeting and you've also got a wraparound balcony exclusive for the two bedrooms on this side of the house. Generally, we would show both of them. The other one, however, is currently going through some renovation, so we'll leave that as a surprise for the next person having a viewing in the home. You've got plenty of cupboard space, but also a hidden ensuite bathroom behind the same cupboard surface as the rest of the cupboards. This ensuite bathroom has a single vanity, walk-in shower, as well as bathtub. Plenty of room and all the necessities are easily covered. Now, leaving behind those two bedrooms, there are still two other rooms we need to talk about. The first being the office and the last being your master suite. Let's start right here at the office. Welcome to your very own office. And I don't think there'd be a better place to while away the hours doing some work than this right here. Surrounded almost by 180 degrees of views, this is the perfect space and definitely the perfect configuration for an office. You've got LED lighting in your shelving and then plenty of cupboard space for any files you might need. And there's enough space in the office itself for desk configurations of any design. Enjoy yourself, enjoy your work, and this home is without a doubt a place that allows you to do that. And now we've definitely saved the best for last, so come with me as we take a look at the master suite. As you can see, if crisp air, clean designs and incredible views is what you're looking for, then this home is without a doubt for you. Welcome to the master suite of this 15.9 million rent home. Behind me you can see the set of stackable sliding doors that lead out onto the patio I just walked through. But here it is, you're walking into your master suite and this is what you're greeted by. A section where you can sit down, relax, not only enjoy the views but enjoy the peace and serenity that comes with having a spacious master suite. I've got a set of windows on my right hand side that also does have incredible views of the Northcliffe Hill including that famous water tower. But when we talk about space and luxury, this area definitely checks both of those boxes. We've got Caesar countertops running all the way across and take a look at the distance between the two basins. His and hers definitely doesn't come much better or at least more separate than this. You've got under counter storage and even a place for you to put your towels. Two massive mirrors on either side, the window in between with reflective glass, so you've still got privacy. And then I love the thought of putting lighting above each of the mirrors. We know how important that is when getting ready. But when it comes to the scrubbing and washing, all of that has been done with some of the classiest materials we've yet to see. A walk-in shower clad with beautiful marble style tiles. And when we talk about walk-in shower, we're talking not one, but two separate shower heads in the same dark design as the rest of the tiles. And then this right here, freestanding bathtub if you want to take a nice soak. We've spoken about so much, however, and we haven't even got to the bedroom yet. So come with me and let's take a look at that. Here it is, welcome to your next bedroom. Again, space is top of mind. As you can see, you've got a section here to sit down and enjoy your favorite programs without leaving the comfort of your bedroom. We've got another one of those room dividers here that houses the headboard and a king size bed with enough space on either side for your pedestals. But what I need to mention, and I've mentioned it so much in this video already, but take a look at the views. Both on your east and west side, you have got some of the most incredible views that there is to be had. And you get to enjoy it from your bedroom. Imagine the sun rises and sun sets. Then to cap off this incredible bedroom, let me mention that all the furniture you've seen throughout the house, the incredible decor, that can be negotiated in on the deal. So be sure to talk about what you'd like to take with you when putting in an offer on this amazing home. Now, however, join me outside so we can talk about how you'll become its next owner.
Now, before we talk about how you can become the next owner of this incredible Yieldside Mansion, let's run through what we've seen so far. This home includes four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, has 1,000 meters under roof and a stand size of 1,400 meters. It's got an incredible infinity pool, two pajama lounges, and so much more. And I'm not even talking about the view you get from almost every room in this house. So if you'd like to become the next owner of this home, what I'd want you to do is contact Shay Kotza. All of her details are in the link in the description of this video below and schedule a viewing because a home priced at 15.9 million that has all of these features is sure to fly off the market. Also, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, YouTube as well as Instagram so you never miss out on some of the most incredible homes that South Africa has to offer. And also tune in every Friday for us for showcasing the next hottest property on the market. My name is Chad Riveros. This is the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget you can find your new home on privateproperty.co.za. Goodbye.